Hello, today we are visited by our shop owner, Jared, and our shop manager, Vika. Hello. 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 We would like to talk today about aftercare, how important it is, different tips and rules that we should abide by. So I'm going to go over, obviously, if you were putting the bandage on, cleaning it, and putting the bandage on, doing the aftercare at home after the tattoo is done. The, the biggest thing when you're putting, when you're putting the new piece on, obviously you're taking off the old one and you're, you're washing it real good. If you don't have a natural so soap like Dr. Bronner's or something like that, then I would just stick to just straight water, just, you know, whatever temperature you would shower in or a comfortable hot because it opens your pores and helps any lymph and plasma come out and just wipe it down really good with your clean hands in the shower. Um, we'd want to stay away from fragrances and there's a lot of chemicals in commercial soaps and just random soaps that people buy. So it's almost better. Well, it is better to just stay away from cleaners and soaps or any other thing that you think sounds like a good idea wipes or something you've read on the internet. Um, the other part after you've cleaned it is you're going to dry it um, with a clean paper towel, just pat it dry or let it air dry. And then the next important step is to make sure you have at least two inches of the, the bandage to go around the outside because as the tattoo heals, it's going to weep lymph and plasma and it's not going to stick to the actual tattoo. So we want to have a good amount of skin to adhere to around the tattoo. So you're going to take the white side off first. So you've cleaned it, you've dried it. And then you're just going to center it. And you know, like I said, you want that two inches. Start from the middle and then fold the other directions just to help keep bubbles out and then once you're that far you just find the, the other seams on here and this it's tricky with gloves but um, <laughs> it's it's easier obviously if you're doing it at home and especially if it's not scored well, just like this one. So great that we make a video and have these problems. This, this isn't a common problem. I think this roll just wasn't scored well. So it's not a, it's more of a rare thing, but um, typically it's not that bad. Once you have that peeled off, um, just make sure it's adhered well all over, push it down and you can work any bubbles out. Just, I just squeeze them up out the top if there are any, or it's not that big a deal if you leave them in, but you can work them up and out. And then <clears throat> you'll leave the first one on that the artist puts on for 24 hours, take it off clean it, dry it, put the new one on, and you'll leave the second one on for four days. You don't want to use anything underneath it, um, especially petroleum-based products like a lot of people do or read that um, Aquaphor and these other petroleum-based products that shouldn't be being used on broken skin are a horrible idea, and you can have weird reactions, especially underneath the bandage. So you just want to do it just like we showed and nothing underneath and let the your body do the job because this was originally designed for burn victims that uses your own lymph and enzymes to heal and it works really well if you follow the directions and that is all excellent thank you for your time and i appreciate your instruction thank you